penguins, inside. That's on the inside. It's got skin on the outside. I think penguins have skin with a little bit of hair. I wish, I'd like my skin inside. to be on the inside. What does that even mean? You have skin. No, I said you. skin on the outside. The blubber's on the inside. Where's your skin? My skin. Where is my skin? Where's your skin? I think you left it at. at oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was like really intense. <laughs> I was like, I was like, holy fuck, man. Real skin over metal endoskeleton. You Living like really flesh. started grabbing at that. Living flesh, flesh over metal metal endo endoskeleton. Bio. Bio cock. Autozone. Bio. Bio cock. You went flat. Uh, uh, Cock. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Chuckle Sandwich, but things are a little different today. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Chuckle Week 2.0. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We're here in a new, different little studio. This is actually the third episode that we're filming this week, but we've got a lot of cool guests coming up, and we thought that we would do just an episode with the three boys, just to start it out so you understand what's going on. We've got the three cameras. We've that? got Schlatt looking like, um, you know, we've got Mr. Cabbage Patch Kid right here. <laughs> Look, he's looking like a Cabbage Patch Kid, and man, I don't look like and a man, do you look? Kid. I hey, look like hey, someone from Avatar. Hey, I look hold on, sick. Hold on, but you, hey, you look cute though. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's how you sour went over. Sour sweet and gone. Yeah. That's, which that's sour, which, fate, which stage sour are patch you at? Kid, not a cabbage patch. Are you kid. on sour or sweet, or are I'm you on, gone? I'm on gone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're on gone. Well, no, I'm still. I'm sweet right now, but okay. in, in about an hour's time, I'm you're gonna, gonna be gone. Be gone. Gonna it's be like gone. ninety percent of the of the process is sour. He'll be sweet for like maybe just like a moment of like a little a pinch of a smile, that's and then you he's gotta gone. Get you gotta get him when he's sweet before he's gone. That's the sweet spot. That's why they call it that. Because it doesn't last too long, and then then it's gone. Speaking of which, did you just rip ass, dude? I I didn't, like what it. are you talking what about? Fuck? Did you that hear was that? you. You did you were the that? one who adjusted. Did you hear I that hadn't that even huge been moving. Fucking fart out of there. Because you Listen, keep eating McDonald's, Jesus you're eating Christ. chicken. We're on a chuckle man. sandwich set. We've got the booth. You guys know you sat in a diner before, right? It's not it's not the most I impossible thing to grasp in the world when you when you adjust a oh little. Oh my god! You make a little. Again? Oh Serious? Stop! You oh make a little god. noise Serious. when you adjust on the booth. Holy Some serious fuck. bowel I'm movements ripping going ass on. right now. I don't rip ass. Oh, you're ripping a. Like oh, you ass. don't rip ass. No, I'm like you a have girl. a. What? What? You know that. You don't know, know the girl. The you don't know the girls no. poop. You don't know the girls fart. Girls. Girls poop. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm a prophet, and I'm going to teach you guys something new today. Turns out, okay. and this is a big, big deal on the Chuckle Sandwich podcast. I'm going to let all the all the men listeners to the podcast know right now. Hey, shitters. Hey. <laughs> hey, shitters and comers. Listen to what he's got to say. <laughs> Listen up, shitters and important. comers. This is a big deal, all right? Women, they poop. And I know that's a, you know, I know that's going to shock you guys a little bit. Charlie, Ooh. you seem to be grappling Ooh. with the thing. I'm stewing. So right, now so I hate know, them. Now you hate you hate them because they because poop. they shit yes. like you. What did you think happened before? Do you think that they just like used up all of the waste I within them? I thought they were like plants. They, yeah, yeah, plants. A little like bit you of water them a little bit. You look like a little bit of a plant right now. You, he like does. You look he like, looks you like, like he's like sprouting right now. You look like I could buy you in a little package from Crazy Dave and plant you in my backyard. Audio listeners love you to death. Schlatt's got like a fucking sprout coming out of his head right yeah, so now here's made of hair. I'm, here's what I've been up to. They I've probably can't to... hear you over Schlatt ripping ass again. Sorry, audio listeners. <laughs> ripping ass. First of all, I'm not ripping ass. Second of all, I'm a man, a big man. Third of all, I'm growing my hair out again, and I'm. it's a little too short. To tie it well, and I can't get the loop back yeah. in the back in the hairband. No, so I like I have your to, little. It's a little I have shrub to look up like there. A fucking, a fucking sapling. It's a little I have nest. I look like a somebody out of your fucking slime story bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like my slime story. You I do like look, it too. I like, like it too. I'm just saying. I don't want to look like yeah. it. Why do you have to turn that into a dig into his merch? No, I didn't. I'm telling. No, it's fine. At least they don't have their balls out all the time. Yeah, seriously. I just drink. I just drink. You just drank from a box. What yeah. the hell is your problem? I've been man? drinking box. What kind water. of sludge is in there? Because you keep ripping ass on this set. Well, listen. It seriously is like a low drone under everything we're saying. I constantly hear just. 
He just fills it with protein what is powder. What's in that thing, just, man? Just, what kind of fucking probiotics are keeping your system juicing in there? Well, let me tell you. First of all, I we had this debate a couple days ago. Actually, it was it was actually yesterday over a nice Okay. Nice delicious breakfast, Charlie. You got a bunch of fucking vegetables, by the way. You usually go into like a diner and you get Star Wars. Oh, food. Well, like, I'm gonna get <laughs> you saw green on my pl- Ted fully. I got like, I didn't it was know what like he was peppers. Eating. It was like literally peppers and onions. We went to a beautiful that was it. diner. And he was like, diner. What are you eating over there? Star Wars food? He's <laughs> <laughs> like shoving fucking yeah, beans into fucking his mouth. Astronaut Sounds like food, I'm 55 <laughs> when you put it that way. <laughs> and you're like eating your sludge, like is what you <laughs> well, were doing. When okay. you go to a diner, you get something unhealthy. That's I, what you get at diners. You get pancakes, you get the Belgian waffle. You get the you get the chorizo short con huevos, chorizo con huevos, the chilaquiles. This is a, quite an aggressive statement coming from a sprout. Oh, I've got to oh, say, oh, mm. blow it up your a little bit blow of a it, sprig. blow it, blow listen, it. Listen to me when I tell <laughs> you, you do load. not go to a diner and get fucking greens. You don't you not it get wasn't, vegetables. Okay, but it wasn't get, a salad. It you was not a salad. Maple syrup it was not a salad. Aunt Aunt Jemima. And Jemima. You got to give him a break here, though, because he's from... Weston he's, Curry was there, and he got a salad. He got... I did not get a salad. He's from, you know, he's from Virginia, um, and... We he, all are, Ted. But <laughs> <laughs> he's from Virginia, um, tip of the womb, and... Tip of the womb? <laughs> what the and hell? And you got to understand that in the South, they eat collard greens. Literally he, northern Virginia. He's... He's he's from the South Schlatt. <laughs> he eats lots. Greens. He eats collard greens all the time. That's what he has with his with his Dude, barbecue what do you think I and his sweet ruminate? tea. Do you think I graze? Yeah, he goes out into his porch. He drinks his sweet tea and he suckles and on I eat some collard, collard greens. greens. Yeah, out of the you out had, of my southern field. Have you ever had collard greens before? Uh, I don't actually know what makes a green collard. I've seen collard greens like on menus. Um, but I've, I've always never been like, get is that them. just a salad, but like no, dressed for church. I don't know. They're not good. They're they're they very much so are not good. What uh, what collars them? Sorry, I'm ripping out a tissue right now. No, so it's I okay. Apologize. I assume it's for your fucking ass. It's for my no- for your what? For my nose. Oh, I'm a bit runny that's... and a bit stuffy. It's probably. Oh, cause... you could probably clear that up with a little. Uh... Oh, oh, well, I could. <sighs> Been keeping this stick with me, gentlemen. <laughs> Listen real close. <laughs> See that? A lot of phlegm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> when we first got here, Schlatt was stamping his feet, wham, 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 like a little baby boy. And he was <laughs> like, We gotta go to we gotta go to the grocery store. I need my boom boom. Like, I need my boom. He kept saying that. He kept saying you kept looking at me and you were like, I need my boom boom. Yeah, and you're gonna also like you're gonna like boom boom. Akin to a child requesting its binky, he was looking for his boom boom and he really wanted it. Turns out it's literally just like one of those Vic sticks that you can smell. It's got menthol in it. Yeah. It's um, just a minty, a um, nice, pleasurable scent. And I can quit whenever I want. I just feel shitty when I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just feel shitty when I'm not doing it. And if I go cur- cold turkey, I get... I start getting mad at people. I start getting I mad they at have people. It. And, and I, I know s- they have it, but they won't give it to me. <laughs> I start sweating. My legs don't work, and I'm not supposed to drive. Um, yeah, I'm not supposed to drive anyways. I still do it. Out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Killed a family of three on the way over here. I know. I know. Oh, I know you fault. did. I know you did. <laughs> Jeez. The cops won't know though. They got bigger fish to fry. Like what? What did you do? What did you do? Let me tell you what I did, Charlie. I rent an I rent a nice little Tesla every mm-hmm. every week. Every week we come out here in in, in 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 Los Angeles. I come out here and I get a, I get a Tesla. Every week you come out. Every here. week I come. Out <laughs> and then what do you do? And then I drive on the four hundred five. And then whoever cuts me off first, it's a little race, it's a little relay race. Whoever cuts me off first or angers me on the road, and I'm a very easily angered person. What a relay la- race in a car look like? I learned to drive in New York City. That is not a place where you want to learn to drive. Let me tell you, it makes it brings out the worst in you when you get on the road. You're just white knuckle thinking about thinking about who's gonna wrong you next. It's dangerous when you got the Tesla, you got the sensors, oh, yeah. you got the lasers. Oh, but not only that, grid. not only that, but you have instant torque. You press that gas pedal down, that car's gonna go, and oh my god, it's not gonna stop. And so whenever someone cuts me off, the first person that cuts me off, they get torqued. I give a little smile, and then I torque them. I fuck. What are you like? You're not a spit. Don't spit. Don't you're spit. Gonna spit. I torque them. I torque them. So What's actually, the last we, you torque this family of three, didn't you? I did you? torque a family of three on you the road. You torqued that before that kid even had a chance. Yeah, you torqued on, them. On Friday night, I torqued. I torqued this entire family. We have their frame yeah. up right now. You go out um, torquing every single week. You yeah. Say. So I rammed the back wow. of uh, 
I ran my my Model Y Tesla into the back of their. Uh, we get a shot of this kid. Yeah, uh, I bet their, when, he, when, when his car. teacher asked him in kindergarten what he wanted to be when he grew up, I doubt he said torqued. He didn't. He definitely didn't. Miss Johnson, I want to be torqued. Yeah. I'm just not impressed though. What you think I could have done oh, better? You think you uh, me? yeah, I think you could have done better, dude. Come on, who man. do you think you're even talking to, man? I oh, invented the knee breaker. The knee breaker burger. It's okay. covered in barbed wire. Listen, buddy, all right. If yeah. you take that, you you can't even go fast enough to kill a family on the road in that dinky little about? piece of shit pickup truck. Oh my god, that do you it's understand? Got a hole in it. Do you understand? It's got a hole in the floor. Able to you understand right through how into your into your truck? I've been no. rear-ended multiple times in that truck, and the other car was totaled every single time. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Back up into him? Oh, so you're not even a torker. You're just the not torqued. even a torker. You're just the torker. I put that torqued. thing into four wheel drive when all like the cars are sliding around the road, and I just push through. You ever seen that? Those videos of the people who mod GTA Five, and they just yeah. they take one of those yeah. eighteen wheelers and they put a ramp on it, and then they just drive through traffic. That's me on a normal Saturday schlatt. So if you're telling me you uh, we should be impressed that you're going and running over a family of six or whatever, I know it's real fun to go thirty in a fucking <sighs> Toyota Tacoma. I know that's the top speed of the vehicle. What's your, I mean, what's your number one amount of shins broken in on on a daily basis? That's what I want. Listen, I don't care about shins. Really? I care about souls, bro. <laughs> you you care about people's souls like the hearts and minds? Taking them, that is. <laughs> Taking them. Taking their Listen, souls. Yeah, you what could do you... break shins, but you could also, like, break entire families. It's okay, called, yeah. It's called supercharging. Where do you think the energy comes from? The energy comes from the pain and screams heard around the world. Now, riddle me this. You go into a heavily, densely populated area. You get yourself uh, one of those metal aluminum baseball bats, and you start driving, get it you know, around a 60, you get towards the sidewalk, you pull, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hang out the window, or have a, you know, one of your homies hang out the window, yeah. and you just go for a shin combo. You get like 50, Ooh, 60. What's your shin combo right now? Oh, at least 102. 102? I mean, yeah, good. oh my That's God. Do you know how many people, it was, it was the record in the local hospital for amount of shins needing to get fixed that day, and not all of them got fixed. Some oh, people left fixed. that hospital shinless. Damn. You know what it's like to live shinless? No. no. You have to work on your calf muscles so hard that they can support your legs without the need for a shin bone. Squid game. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> I just, I just said, mm -hmm, I didn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured if you've got like this little muscle going on and you've got no bones... <laughs> oh, Squid Game. Squid oh, yeah, Squid oh, Game. Oh, squid oh, Game. Oh, squid oh. Game. <laughs> made sense right. to me. Yeah. I just pictured yeah. this guy walking out of the hospital. He's Octo Dad. Yeah. He's yeah. sloshing around. Well, well no, here's what like you Harry Potter, when he got when he, when he got his that bones gotten ripped. That fucked me up when I saw that as a kid. Yeah, That, did. like, really fucked me up. Yeah, it wasn't the part where it broke, but it was the part where it, like, you know, like, flopped. It, like, what flops happened? back up. Yeah. Yeah. I never watched Harry he, Potter. So, Harry Potter, he goes after the Golden Snitch, which, if you get it in the game, you win. So it's like I what don't a know. loser! I go after like that golden, golden bitch. Ball. Nice man, dude. That was sick. You Can you really put the, put the camera on this guy? Yeah, get get a get a little make, view on him. Of, make the face you make when you go after the golden bitch. <laughs> That's just worrying. That's good. So he goes after the golden snitch, and I think he gets like hit with a fucking quibble or a squ or a squirty or, or whatever those ball, big fucking grimbo. balls. He gets hit by a grimbo. He goes down. Not poor to be guy. confused with a little grimbly. No, you gotta watch out for those. Though. Yeah. He so goes for the grimbo. He goes down. He goes down. He breaks his arm, and then like they all rush over, and he's like, "Oh my god, my arm broke!" And yeah. they're in like a magic. World. Oh my god, I'm Harry Potter. My arm, my, my arm Harry broke. Potter. My arm broke. <laughs> <It's your laughs> I'm, Harry, I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter, my bone don't work. Mm, I got a, I got a tattoo. My arm broke. And this guy rushes up, and he's like, "Don't worry, I'll fix you." And he's like, "Fucking." <laughs> I don't like the pause. What do you mean? Which part? Don't worry, I'll fix you. Don't worry, I'll fix Harry Potter. And then he went. I'll fix you right up. He pulls out his wand, and he points at his arm. Well, I don't know what he says. He's I don't know. He said Wingardium Leviosa. No, he doesn't Wingardium Leviosa. Nice, dude. Okay, well, like, the one thing you know about Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain is full of ants. Fuck you. All right. Well, um, he has fucking bonus gronus, and then his bone. Bonus gronus. <laughs> <laughs> he has bonus gronus. bonus gronus. And Harry Potter's arm doesn't stay broken, but it gets it gets flaccid. It's also the unknown it, brother of the Jonas flaccid. Brothers. So it's like you know when you take that pencil and you're like wobbling it around. Yeah, it's like that, but with his arm. So it's like it's Squid Game all yeah. over again. Squid Game, man. It always comes back to Gi Hun. <laughs> always comes back. To yeah, Squid but here's what you do: you uh, you get a little drill, and you drill into the side of the Toyota Tacoma. And you put a tarp over the bed, and then you have one of your buddies What's in there hole? lay in the bed of the of the of the truck with a shotgun pointed out, and then you drive past people. 
That's just a drive-by shooting. Yes, it is, and it was actually why a does method tar- that a why? bunch of serial killers used back in the day. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Is that why did that work better back in the day? No lessons? Because nobody knew where the gun shot no, came from. Because everyone was like, "Well, what the hell?" How did they do that? That was just a car. They shot. That was, how did that car shoot? People out of the that out of the hole. Done. There was a gun in the hole of the bed. Oh, I see. Yeah. How did they get caught? How did people find out? I I really I really don't know. You can't bring this up without having to know all the information behind it. Because now right. I'm curious. Let me do some research. I'll okay. get back to you. Yeah. All right. Um. Charlie, let me yeah. ask you this. <laughs> okay, please do. Now. Yeah. Ask me right now. I'll ask you right now this please question. Do. Yes, um, which is coming. If I were to just shove a bunch of tomatoes into your mouth, how many do you think you could fit in there before you start screaming? What kind of tomato? Um, Heirloom. What the fuck? Why would you pick heirloom? I don't know what an heirloom. How big is it? You don't know what an heirloom tomato is? Wait, like Borf, head. isn't that the most common kind of tomato? No, I know like a grape tomato or like a, to like a vine tomato. What is a regular tomato called? Borf. Why? Because it's shaped really crazy. Like those are usually the ones that are like, oh, it's like an heirloom, so it looks like it's got a disease. And then oh, it's like. It, do they look like? Do they look like a weird big gourd kind of thing? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, you. Maybe I like chose the, the wrong type of tomato. That's like the least Fine. tomato tomato. We'll do it like chubby bunny, little tiny uh, cherry Red tomatoes. tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, I think that I could probably get like nine. Nine. It feels low, but it feels realistic. I'm just gonna be honest. What are you talking? What are you talking about? I'm asking him how many cherry tomatoes I can shove in his mouth before he starts screaming. Screaming, yeah. Before he starts screaming. Oh, screaming! Yeah. Eleven. Oh, eleven! Like you yeah. can fit reasonably nine, but they're, then once ele- yeah, once you put two more, more you're gonna they, start they, screaming well, for your the life. Thing with tomatoes is like, does it not count anymore once they squimch together? Or is it like? Well, fun? yeah. I mean, they're, they're, gonna, they're squ- gonna squ- they squimch will together. squimch together. Well, it's, are they, are you I'm counting on that. So they don't squimch. If they squimch, like. Uh, well, I'm counting on that because then it's like, at a, at a certain point, there's gonna be so much squimshing going on that like you're gonna start, you're gonna start drowning on the tomato Nine juice. Nine floor, eleven ceiling. What? Fourteen with squimsh. Oh, thank God. Fourteen tomatoes with squimsh. Okay. Um. So we actually <laughs> have some. T- I'm joking. We literally don't. <laughs> we don't if we have did, I would do that though. I really. Yeah, hundred percent. Until you started drowning on tomato juice. I was fucking screaming. Yeah, it started they squimsh. Okay, Schlatt. Do you have the information on that? Uh, no, I looked it up. I just saw a bunch of local cases of drive-by shootings. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Wow. Well. Um, but I guarantee you, or maybe if it didn't happen, it could happen. Viewers. So we this could be just an entire entirely oh, this fiction. Cool. This could just be an idea. This is the this new could just meta. be you thinking about something and then like. Could just be an Saying idea for right. all the shitters out there. Yeah, <laughs> all the motherfuckers who are listening to a podcast. A lot of potential listeners to our podcast. I think that we've established like a pretty solid serial killer audience at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if we did. I would. I feel like serial killers have recommended like episodes to each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh shit, this guy's got a really good idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we have enough toxic. R slash chuckles sandwich underscore serial killers only. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a little members only thing. Have you guys looked at the r slash chuckles sandwich subreddit? No. I do occasionally. There, there one. There's I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Somebody. There. So, There's a lot of choking out. There is a lot of you choking. You ask out. a lot of people for like me on a really big muscular body. Like that's been like a multiple episode thing. I, I've episode? done it twice. And well, I just, you're... it's just kind of a fun thing to do. You're already on a m- very muscular Thank body. You, Come on, man. Charlie you're definitely has taunt. the most muscle mass oh, of no, the oh, Chuckle oh, Sandwich my, podcast. Under my little slime story shirt. My slime oh, National slime Park national part. Shirt. Very nice shirt, by the way. Do you like that bear? Yeah, oh, yeah. I do Speaking like that bear. Of shitters, you said earlier this looks like the bear in Castle Crashers that. Well, I said Shit. that. Yeah. Well, Ted said that. Yeah, I big, said that. A big, yeah, the big, big. Yeah, the big, the uh, big. So the the bear in, in Castle Crashers, when he sh- hears the thumping, the, the stomping, the and then he just shits. starts shitting himself. Yeah. Much like Sh- Schlatt has been basically shitting himself on this, this episode. episode. You I dirty, like dirty you boy. You dirty, dirty boy. This doesn't make shrub. any sense. You yucky, this is such a bad, schmucky this is little boy. Such a just a a joke that isn't funny. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna. We're we're gonna feel self conscious about our, our shitting, so we're gonna start putting people down. All right, Come we're on, the man. ones who are allowed to put Dude, you down. You could at least stop shitting while we're telling you about this. You could at least. I'm not away. shitting right now. And he's also not. Mm. Are you shitting me? No, no. Don't answer. I know you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, just doing it. 
What's in the box, man? I'm not telling you what's in the fucking Tell box. Me what's in the box. No, you keep no. Running. Every time we start it's talking not about water. shit, you start getting in there. It's not water. I think the reason why he's been shitting so much is because I saw him. He was scooping some like just pure protein powder in there, and like the kind that makes you like makes your farts like a rancid a, I gotta get a work dumpster. I gotta get a work. What's gonna happen soon. if you don't? It all comes out the other end. Oh, man. If the muscles can't use it. Ass. Then you can't. Ass. Then the ass uses the it. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I didn't actually have anything to say. I, I don't know why no, I did that. No, that's okay. I, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me, uh, no, it's fine. Let me. No, start. that was so cool. No, yeah, yeah no, it's you know, good. It was let really me, good. And I can circle back around. Yeah. Okay. Um, we this time around we do have let me stop a you new. Right there. We. No, well, I have something to say this time though. Well, hold on. We'll. We have a different Airbnb this time around. Oh, yes. yes. You really wanted to get him started. I did. Well, you really wanted to cut that bit short and get him started, started again, on huh? that. You well, want to get me started. I, I, and he definitely talks about it on one of the other episodes that we got. But I remember the last time we did a Chuckle Week, one of the biggest things for Schlatt was that he was having a very, very hard time. He hated it. And now he's finally happy with this one and has had no complaints. And there it is. Which is actually Charlie telling you a complete lie because he... <laughs> has had complaints even though yeah i it is so I, nice. I was like my whole focus for the struggle was like how do i keep this baby man happy, happy in the living mistake. space well because i know that you were going to be fine because you're an adaptable human do being I need to be more of a problem no you? you're an adjusted human you're an adjusted adult mm. whereas you know here we've got he mr Oh, oh, give me my baby bottle pop. I need to be sucking on that. I need to be sucking on something. I need to be sucking on a nipple 24-7. That's what you're I like. I don't need to be sucking on nipples. You need a nipple and mouth. Why do I see you suckling? Because he, cause what's, then why do we have a teat offset? He's got a teat right here. He's been sucking on this. What do you think's That's in there? Teat. It's fucking mommy milk. You really think so? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, this <laughs> is disgusting. Let me, let, me tell you, let me tell you something, all right? Yeah. We got a really shitty air... No! Hey, 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 hey. I tend not to. I. I. Whenever it comes you tend to not like. To what? Whenever it comes to like a brand, like whatever, whatever this brand is, Mountain Valley Spring Water. I okay. wouldn't normally shit talk a brand because of potential. Like, what if they want to sponsor us next time? Yeah. Airbnb. I'm burning this bridge right fucking now. <laughs> what a terrible service, full of terrible people who run every single fucking house in this entire shithole city. We're going on Verbo or some other fucking sh fucking VRBO. Oh, so Verbo's but, fine. What's well, maybe Airbnb? maybe it is because I swear to God, every time we get a fucking Airbnb in this city, it's shit. It's shit. So the Schlatt first week, the first week we did in this shithole of a city, Ted. We walked in and the house. Kind of we, we were like, oh, this is, this is, this is a nice house. Yeah, like this, this is a nice house, you know. It's burn. got a lot of square footage. The pictures look nice. Well, guess what? We walked in and and the wall was it was a a, a large space with everything was like <laughs> bite size. <laughs> it was fucking Toy Story furniture. Are we talking about last time? So yeah, we're talking about last time. Oh, it wasn't I thought a big was... house. No, it wasn't a big house. It was a regular house with really small appliances. Okay, we're talking like about last time right now. Everything. Let's clarify. And the houses are dude. You can go on Etsy.com or Wayfair.com and scroll past all the child trafficking lockers that they're selling for ten grand with Delilah as the name or Aaliyah or one, one of those fucking about. things. You go there and you search uh, fucking couch, sectional couch on Etsy, and you find – and literally the first one that, that pops up, that is the one that will always be in the fucking living room, and it slides apart at the slightest fucking movement, and it's too small, and oh, you lean back, oh, it fucking breaks. Do you really want to furnish an Airbnb that you know you're going to have rats in listen, like us and put a nice the couch The couch broke last time. You remember this. The back of the couch fell off. As as one of us leaned back onto it, yeah, the the art on the wall was literally five inch by five inch canvas prints of the most generic shit ever. Yeah, it's like a dog, and like a like a beach. Yeah. <laughs> what did you really want to appreciate? The coffee you really table to appreciate it, Charlie. The coffee table of this old place 
Literally, I searched coffee table on Etsy. It was the second like one. A focus it was on the Etsy. second yeah, one that no, came I didn't up. Feel like it was a bad thing. Again, it was you have tiny. A lot of Etsy it was stuff shit. It was terrible. Yeah. I have a lot of Etsy stuff you in my do. house. I don't buy furniture off of Etsy. Well, no, because you, you need have to, to live see there. It. If you had people coming in, you wouldn't let them sit on all your nice furniture. Oh, you, so you have to make. Etsy you have stuff. to give a, a shitty experience and get a one star review from me. It's a shitty experience. It's a shitty experience. So we go to this new house, which is nice. Which is a beautiful. The house itself. Beautiful, beautiful house. It's in the Hollywood Hills. It's so much money. It's so much money. So it was the cheaper option of. It was. It was what we chose was. It was a balance between trying to save money, but also making trying Schlatt a little bit happier in this the time Hollywood around. Hill. Let me tell you, it is an expensive place that we rented, and we walk in, and oh my god, the fucking couch is small it's the same couch as the <laughs> other one <laughs> the coffee table it is like the same almost, one it's almost the, I, I can almost the table guarantee. lamp the ta the the floor lamp goes up to like waist height i like, feel like, like i'm in a fucking him, i feel him. like it's toy comfort story him. i feel like He's i am a, okay. i am fucking buzz lightyear <laughs> in a big house with with small let me tell you something. The appliances of this house. Oh, that yep. feels good. The appliances of this house. <laughs> helping. That's helping him. Everything the house Thank is you. like was built in the house, like the sink and the cabinets and the bath and like everything is nice. Mm -hmm. It's but got a every, pool table. It's got a ping pong table. It really it's has got a, lot a of good stuff. It's got a fire pit. But every freestanding it's got a hot piece. Tub. It's got an incredible view. Every freestanding piece of furniture in this house is just trash. It is. Undeniably, dining table is pretty good. Well, the dining table, I'm assuming, was left by the actual house. What, was someone evacuating from the place? I'm telling then? you, I'm telling you, the dining table is the only good piece of furniture in there. The rest of it is all Etsy garbage. It's all Etsy all garbage. Right. Yeah. So Schlatt took the master bedroom, as you'd expect. I took the yeah, master bedroom. Literally instantly. I, I showed up master... after my 12-hour toll travel situation. Should have got a nice finders little, keepers. Nice little twin bed. Finders keepers. The two nightstands to the side of the beds in the master bedroom, the drawers slide right out, fall on the floor. The nightstands are like literally a foot tall. The yeah. bed, the bed is just on like the that. floor. So when you see a drawer, do you just pull it all the fucking way out and say, "God damn it!" Like, you, you, Charlie, you, drawers, you are usually, drawers are usually drawers are usually. Shlack gets rails into a new Airbnb and he just he go he he, goes he, he brings a hammer with him and he looks for and he's like, and, "Is this uh, hammer proof? Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah. is this hammer oh, this proof? Is coming all the Am way I out? out of line? Am I out of line? I think the so. one TV in the entire house, no other TVs anywhere. The one TV does not work. Does not work. <laughs> the was. two remotes with batteries in them." Do not work. <laughs> the laundry situation. There's no detergent. There's no Who fucking fabric why would, why softener. We have to go and buy it ourselves. Why, yeah, yes, fine. that's that it's is actually standard, standard in most that's not rentals. That's standard. You probably have an app, like if you What do you think that? What do you think? Okay. So this is your ideal. This the is your, Wi-Fi just shuts right. off after the first day. Okay. There's no Wi-Fi in the house anymore. What are you There's no about? internet. Fine for me. No, it's not. What are you talking about? The Wi-Fi is gone. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the Wi-Fi is gone. I'm telling you. You are living in a fantasy world. The Wi-Fi is gone. So let me break this down Barney style for okay, you. Okay, listen. Why don't you break it down PUBG style? I'm going to break it down Barney style Barney because style. you're not even old enough to be watching or playing PUBG, you little shit. Schlatt's ideal Airbnb situation is that they roll out the red carpet for him. They roll out the red carpet for Schlatt. He walks down. There's two fucking tuxedo dress servants that say hello mr slat welcome to the abode they put like the they put like all of his fingers covered in fucking super bowl rings for some reason and he walks in fridge is filled with wagyu and fucking voss water this is not and this and, is just a gross and, misappropriation you know what of what it's what not I no it's from not. a house that we are renting it's in not. the hollywood hills it's not for our fucking production week it's not. i want to be comfortable in the fucking house Ted. oh my god you're a little bit of a dramatic little guy you oh, know let's, that maybe i can go home after a nice recording session of being tired after the fucking shoot and watch tv no <laughs> maybe i want to play clash royale no, I lose connection because there's no more Wi-Fi in the fucking house. Where's the router? Maybe in one of the drawers? No, no, 
The drawer oh, fell out. Going? The drawer's on the oh, fucking floor. On the this guy's got a he's got a private chef at home. He's oh, got his, his, his no, 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 I think I know chef. exactly what you want. It's a chef that makes food and delivers it you're, to my house. You're basically it, it works out being cheaper than DoorDash. You're and the definition of a, a, a you. You are the bourgeoisie. Is well, what yes. you are. You're I the, think it's undeniable to say that every everyone at this table makes more money than everyone watching. Really? Yes. What if Obama is watching? Obama's not watching. What if Jeff Bezos is watching? Then donate. <laughs> then donate. <laughs> then give us more. I think what you want is I think you want someone to go around the city limits of Austin and attach balloons like up to pick up not just your house, but the entire city. <laughs> Any convenience that LA, you could possibly. Fly it over Los Angeles and drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Any convenience. I think that is the only time you would be happy. <laughs> Any convenience that Schlatt knows from home, he needs to be immediately available to him in his vicinity, or else oh. he. But it's not just the house either. Like I know it would only be safe to assume like a twenty mile radius of convenience. Yeah. Listen, so man. just pick the whole thing up and drop it Bro, where he listen, needs to be. Listen, I'm not I, wrong, I, am I? I don't We've been listening for a long time wrong. to your garbage. You're not wrong. <laughs> it is just crazy to me. That when you pay the amount of money we are paying yeah. for this house, mm -hmm. that it is not an, a decent living experience. Is it not a decent it's living experience? A decent living. It's a decent living yeah, experience. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like, maybe just, go it feels like, So what was listen, that whole conversation? There's just, there's just a layer, this is a thin layer of shit over a night that is put over a, a nice house a by the fucking meniscus. Airbnb person who owns the house. Like, dude. You getting a one star from me? I'm going to Burbo.com. It's nice. It's a nice. The TV thing. doesn't work, man. The <laughs> one TV. It does the work. Like it, I've seen we, you. I we've walked been watching. In. You guys were watching. Yeah, we were watching it. smiling yeah, friends on it. No, it's just no. It's just, say, no, what no. What do you mean no? Through fucking laptop and HDMI cable. It, so we got it to that's work. It's not like the TV, TV has a. It's not like do. the TV is, is shattered or, or like somebody went after it with a with a crowbar. Black it's not mirror. like it's not like there's Black little mirror. it's not like there's the floors are like covered in literal shit. Can you let me be angry for once? No, I don't think I can actually because that's most of what you're what you do. Can you let yourself be happy for once? That's a question I should be asking you. Will you let yourself let go of all of your happy. problems oh in your I'm life? I'm happy whenever yes. I'm not in this fucking city. Mm. Some switch, it's not just, even real. Some switch it's just not flips. even like a real yeah, problem. He doesn't right. actually have any issues with LA. I this would is be all a farce. Oh, 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 you want to talk about LA? You are the you definition of pastiche. Right now. <laughs> you are just a pastiche human. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean, Ted? What does that mean? I'm not even going to explain it. I'm going to think. I'm going to no, let. No, no. Define pastiche. No, no. I'm going to let all of the. Please, I'm going to let all the cool people at home that know what pastiche means. None of them. Understand. None of them know what pastiche means. Borif knows what pastiche means. Borif, don't, don't say a word, Ted. I'm just going to I'm just going to ruminate with the fact that you guys know don't know what pastiche means. Ruminate? That is not the fucking correct use of that word. I'm going to ruminate in the feeling. You're not going to ruminate. I'm going to ruminate with the feeling that you guys don't know. He's not even using ruminate. That's what that's what cows do. I'm going to give you guys a bit on grass. So what is don't cows graze on grass. No, they you ruminate over something you're thinking about it. You think cows think? What is the word I'm thinking of? Borf, don't say anything. And just like that, these boys are so confused. Their minds are turning to putty as I have defeated them with the power of my mind. He did. He did me. I'm pastiching out. I'm like a man from the future doing a podcast with a couple of cavemen. That's what's going on right now. I've got a couple of cavemen on my podcast. Look at you. You look like a fucking Flintstones character, you piece of shit. Jesus. Man. Might as well throw a, put a fucking bone through that hair fucking shit you got going on. <laughs> Give me a break. You look like a fucking... You look ridiculous. Listen, I'm going to get in Do my... you walk into a room and you're like, oh, I look really cool. And you seriously think that. Schlatt, I'm going to say one thing to you. With that haircut, you should be trolling us. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a joke. It's got to be a joke. You, you put that on, you're like, man, I look good. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah, do a little bit of crying. Do a little bit of crying. Mm -hmm. Borif, do you like the city of Los Angeles? Uh, it's it's a merit to convenience based off the location. Exactly. There are nice parts there. Would you rather live somewhere else? Name a place. Wichita. Yes. Wichita? Yeah, Kansas. Wichita, Wichita Kansas. You would rather Kansas. live in Wichita, Kansas. In here? 
Maybe he just really likes Wichita. Yeah, but what, I mean, okay, but a, the value of the land is also uh, based upon what's Cerulean. around it. Like, what's around the, a house? If you buy a house in Wichita, Kansas, where are you going to go? Like, the bowling alley that hasn't been refurbished in 75 years, and the, per, and the only person living there is an 80-year-old woman? I hope you're not from Wichita, Kansas, and I'm just, just like... It, but if any of our listeners are from Wichita, Kansas, I mean that literally. But There's not like a There's like one guy out there. Yeah, sobbing and he's right like, now. he's like, but I'm from Witchy Witchy. Witchy. <laughs> <laughs> he's dogging on my town, Witchy Witchy. Bordeaux. What about Camden, New Jersey? Would you rather live there? That's a specific town in New mm-hmm. Jersey. Yeah, sure. Oh. It's probably great. Listen, all I'm saying is. No one actually wants to live in L.A. No one does. It's all because it's just fucking true. convenient to be there. Yeah, I think that's if it true. was, listen, if you could, if you could get why people come to L.A. and it was anywhere else in the world, they'd rather do that because L.A. is a shithole. Okay, but also, can't you apply that same set of logic to Austin? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I. Then, uh, listen, then, then what, what is the, the play, point of what you're saying right now? But if, if, if you could, if, if more you, pleasant place to be in. But if you could apply that, but you also have a deep freeze the last, like both years that you have lived there, where you so, lose, where you lose power. So, all of the roads are closed. All the businesses are closed. People die. I don't. I can't name a time that that's ever happened in L.A. Yes, Ted. But the power grid shuts down. And you had to live off of beef jerky yeah, for our, a week straight. And our senator went to Mexico. He actually left the country. Your senator left, left the, the, country, country. the country. Not just the state. The no. country. He was trying to be a good dad. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's that's, a, and it's okay to make mistakes. That's what he said. That's yeah. what he said. He was yeah. trying to be a good father for his kids who was? wanted to go. Do you think he was a good dad? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm saying this. The Flintstone is coming out. I want to be, I want to make this completely clear. If I could get the main reason I moved to Austin, please, yeah, but which is to be around people, yeah. and secondary, I guess, would be the tax situation and generally just paying less for things. Yep. If I could get that, if 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 people were in New York, New York City surrounding area, I would be there. You could move to Vegas. Uh. I don't. Want, want to, to move that? to Vegas? Yeah, I don't think anyone wants to move to Vegas. Yeah, why does the anyone want to live in Vegas? Ta- Tina lives in Vegas. What is it? Okay, good for her. I good guess. for her, I guess. Yeah. No, yeah. what is no. like what the? Is um... like the uh... I don't really know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I, I have to say, I mean, <laughs> that threw me off. So I have to say, I mean, like. Vegas is definitely one of those places that I don't think I could personally get myself to move to because it Vegas very much so feels like one of those places that you. You visit. You yeah. visit once. Vegas. You visit once. Yeah, it's like so, <laughs> and you lose it all, <laughs> and then you, you leave. lose it all on slots, and then you uh, return home a shell of a man. Um, but I find that confusing that you wouldn't live there because I feel like you'd be at home, given that you already are a shell of a man. It's kind of fucked up, man. Bound out and yeah. now, now. Oh my God! That's my. That's, that's your riff. That's my riff. Is that really his riff? Scott, play my play my actual riff though. Thanks, thanks, Scott. Hey, wow. Scott, hit us with the breakdown, guys. Feel this. Wow, yeah. that was really yeah, good. You like that? Scott, just have it be silence for that, so we can ruminate in the awkwardness of that. Scott, can you hit us with ominous drone number seven? Wow. Wow. Thank you, Scott. Yo, Scott, hit us with uh, with uh, an Arthur Benson classic from Epidemic Sound. Are we talking about like this one of the sneaky ones? Yeah, yeah. No, that's. We, uh, I'm feeling sneaky right who now. Who is that? That's not Arthur Benson. It's another guy. No, it's Arthur. No, Benson. it's definitely sneaky Arthur snatch? Benson. No, no, that's that's, that's Kevin McLeod. That's, that's Kevin. That's what I'm Kevin yeah. Mac- McLeod. Mac- 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 Kevin, how do you pronounce your name? We don't know. <laughs> this is like almost a YouTuber specific bit that we're doing right yeah. now. Okay, let's do a, let's, yeah, let's do a regular person bit. Everyone yeah. has to live. So, uh, <laughs> let's do a regular let's do a regular person bit. You guys use Instagram? No, let me here. Let me let me. You guys like uh, fucking, <laughs> fucking every every Insta is just d- d- pictures. I don't know, Dino. Do you even know what Instagram Dino? is? You Dino? fucking Flintstone. Dino? What, Dino? what are you calling what are you me right saying, now, dude? Dino? 
Is that what you There's said? a character at the Flintstones called Dino, isn't there? Or if, what does ruminate mean? Uh, ruminate is um, you're thinking hard on something, and there is a Dino. There is a Dino in uh, Flintstones. It's the dog. Consider, the dog. consider he was. It, how is it spelled, Borif? D I N O. Consider it being pronounced dino, like fucking dinosaur, <laughs> no, like no. the era of the, the Flintstones. The bit is that it's in. not pronounced that way. That's, what are you talking about? That's so because stupid. Because it's very clearly dino. The, the, it's like their dog. That's so stupid. And they call it dino. Why do they do that? Or if, was it called, when, when there's a cow. Why are you choosing right now to just uh, to be so literal about the pronunciation of this what? cartoon character? I just don't get it. When they graze, when the cow grazes, it go. It's a, there's a it process. It does not ruminate. No, it doesn't I, ruminate, but it, it does something. Something happens in there through it those grazes, six stumps. It sits there. It doesn't just graze. The graze is just the act, but inside the true magic begins. Borif, I know there's a word for it. I know there's. It, it sounds like ruminate, and it's something that happens in the cow. You gotta help me out here, or is this just absolutely nothing? Scott, throw this up on screen. Sorry, I know I need to move on, but I can't yet. I need to, I have to know this. There's definitely more. What are we, what are we asking? <laughs> what are we, what He's are we talking about, about fucking what are we cows about? right now? Like, I don't even know. Grazing? I've been stuck on it. Yeah, let's fucking go, dude! I fucking told you! Yes! Let's go! Let's fucking ruminate, dude! Get me out on a goddamn field, put my mouth to the goddamn soil, and let me cruise! Fuck you! Oh my god, your veins are popping out of your neck right now. Dude, he's on- he's roid raging right <laughs> now. No, he's- you know what, he's just choking right now. He's choking. I started to choke. That dude, was a choke. That was, no that was a choke idea. live on the, the Triple past, Sandwich podcast. For the past eight minutes, I've just been here stewing, okay? I've been really trying to move on, but I know I can't. And yeah, I, know, I, I guess we kind of gaslit you a little bit. You did. What's gaslighting? You just made it up. Go ruminate on that. Yeah. Whenever someone tells me I'm gaslighting, I'm just like, what? Yeah. You fucking stupid friends tell you about that word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's, a, it's big. Too big for you. If you can gaslight, can you like, is there like an electric equivalent, do you think? Because we're sort of phasing out, out gas now, right? We are phasing Light out switching. Gas. Light switching. Gaslight? Like electric. Light switch. Electric lighting. Electric. Electric lighting. Mm -hmm. Grilling. Oh, that's crazy because you'd be grilling someone too. You could grill them. When did everyone agree that it was like you could cook people? I think they've been doing that for a while. They've man. been doing that for a while. Yeah, they've been doing that for a Cannibalism while. Cannibalism is definitely a common thing. I've been history. stewing. Oh my god, I'm gonna grill you. Let me stew on that. Whoa, there's a lot here, guys. Yeah, we like to really put food things. It's into almost like we have a. It's almost like we're a. Like a we like it's kind of like food. we sort of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, so man. what you guys will I'm 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 just gonna say this, I'm gonna point this out just so yeah. people know for who watch this deep into the podcast down is from that a big chalk, by the way. Well, so I, I know, apologize. I can tell. Yeah. I mean you're it was a, it was a big chalk. <laughs> you're gonna start sweating and say hello. <gasps> um <laughs> hello. So this bugging? table is going to grow in size for two episodes after this episode and then it's going to shrink again. Don't be alarmed. This table just has a little bit of a it's got a little bit of a problem. Um, it's, it's tight, it's spicy. Table took some Viagra. Yeah. Table's about to. And yeah, it was it's about to. And table, I actually just fed it. Table right now flaccid, table about to be hard. Table would be hard, table, table about, about to, to be table, table about to be horny. Oh, I don't Pointy. really like the way I said horny. Ho oh, I, I said it's just like a weird voice. You, did don't say yeah, yeah, you no, didn't no, like that? I didn't no. like that. Uh -huh. I didn't like that one wheel bit. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think, Schlatt? Yeah, what do you think? Little guy over there, thinking about stuff. Yeah, you're thinking. You're thinking, you're thinking real about? hard. You're thinking real thoughts. hard. I can see steam come out of your ears. You think? Hey, Schlatt, I've got a challenge for you. Say something that isn't rooted in anger. That would actually scare me more than anything. Really? Yeah. Like if he like one day we went to say a something nice about me and Charlie. No, if we went Try to B and B one day and he was just like calmly came down and said, I, like, I don't I like love this. this. Hey, everybody. I would be terrifying. I'm ready to start my day. <laughs> <laughs> I just walk downstairs. I would, I would actually like cancel the B and B immediately. Well, it's funny because when <laughs> I'd be he, horrified. When, when he does his when he does his fake positive voice, he almost immediately goes back into his like 2017 uh, commentary like. 
video essay schlatt voice Maybe oh, that yeah. was when like he was main happy. channel Schla- schlatt voice yeah. it was when i was happy yeah so yeah. you hang on to that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. just try just say, try some, say, say, something nice say something nice about charlie <sighs> you don't have it's okay man you don't have say, to. Say, say something nice it's to fine him. i mean i know that you know just i know what goes on just here. charlie doesn't trust me that's what? not very that's not why would you say that charlie what doesn't that trust me good? what does that mean i know it in my heart he doesn't trust this me. isn't a nice thing this is like this is more of yeah, like an emotional insecurity to, no, you're why right. am i supposed no, to right, say something nice about a man who doesn't trust me i just think the trust is earned this is an interesting way know, to turn this around not, on its head maybe not we're not there yet how yeah. okay well i'm not saying this how can we get there you know maybe how can we get there maybe it's a me thing not really you thing you know so what do you need to do what is your path to enlightenment that's n- I, there's some things i'm comfortable saying and some, some things I'm oh, not you ha- you're not comfortable saying. saying it yeah well i guess we're at an impasse Maybe i just we think, gotta go ruminate about it i just think things have been different since you changed since i changed since you changed you still is it the, is it the it's it's the it's the ponytail isn't it you it's been bugging you this whole time. You started putting. You've been. You've been looking. You started going listen, I told. I see you've been going. Listen. You're looking in don't the studio talk about, for bones. Don't you dare talk about my all fours. That was a secret. I was supposed to unveil later this month. This was. This came from me telling you to say something nice to him, and now you're yelling at him. Do you see how? Do you see what your problem is? He's gonna run after me. He's he brought up the around. fucking all fours. He brought up the all fours. Well, I just thought that was a thing you were trying out. He so brought up the all fours, I'm telling you. And you were looking, you were sniffing, you had your nose to the ground, you were looking for bones, and I didn't realize that was such a sensitive topic, man. You were Why looking you, for big bones no, dude, you could put in your mouth looking, and run around no, no, with. No, no. You've been looking at my fucking ponytail situation this whole time, and I can tell you it's been egging you. Yeah. No, I'm looking you in the eyes right now. No, you're not. You're looking, looking you above. No, you're looking. Not, dude. You're looking is... at my ponytail. No, no. And I can tell you're judging it. Oh my god. Is it? I'm sorry. Is my? Is it because my hair isn't long enough for you? <laughs> Some might say my hair is perfectly sized. No. Perfect yeah. length, right, Borf? Borf, don't give him that. Don't give him Some that. might even he, say Borf it's, is shaking his it's head above right now. average he's sh- length. He's shaking Borf. his head. He doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Above agree. average hair he size. Agree you know, with you. You know, There's we, a long. There. It's long <laughs> enough. You're saying. It's, it's, <laughs> what are you fucking saying? It's long. It's long. It's a good time. You know. Dude, when, you know. When it looks that, like a fountain. It sprouted you, on your you head. You are. You are so you. out of pocket for saying this. You're I'm not so out, out of pocket. I'm directly in the pocket. You're not in my pocket. I'm in uh, a let pocket. Let me tell you what's in my, Ted, we're usually in my pocket. I'm in a pocket, pocket just like a gate key in Mario Party, you motherfucker. What are you saying? Have what you played Mario mean? Party before? Yeah. Well, I mean, you're a key in a pocket? Yeah, a key for a gate in Mario Party. Key? For in Mario game. Party. He doesn't, know right? what, he doesn't know what you're saying. He's from 3,000 years ago. Look at him. It just kind of feels like you like L.A. so much that you decided to make your hair imitate one of the palm trees. It looks like you hate L.A. so much <laughs> that you tried to revert it back to a time when nothing existed but caves. Yeah, caves, and you the really the only thing that you're missing is maybe maybe, maybe go out, outside and take some of that Dave's Hot Chicken you're eating, maybe try to find a chicken bone in there, stick it in between that little fucking... I don't even know what that is. What is that? It looks like a... Looks like a... You know what you look like? You either look like a Chia Pet or one of those troll little little kids' toys that they sell. You look like, you look like fucking Trolls... World poor. You look like you're the about movie. To, you look like you're about to scavenge and or migrate. You look like a Smurf without the blue. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. You look, that's <laughs> awesome. You look like the Smurfs fought in the Civil War. I need more slop. Yeah. Oh, more is that so? That's slop. so you finally admit it. That's what's in there. It's slop. Uh, it's slop. slop. I need mm-hmm. to fill more more slop into my. Box. Jeez. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking, you know that, that like, um, uh, whatever. No, I think I know exactly what you're thinking. I've noticed one thing on this podcast yeah. is that I am actually the only member of the of the three of us yeah, that true. doesn't have my earlobes connected to my face. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I don't have a connected yeah, earlobe. Right. No, that's, well, that's definitely It's a free, there. free, fl- no, it's like free flying, free flying. You see that? Whereas your guys is it just goes oh, right yeah. into hey, your Ted, head. Hey, Ted, are you so sure about that, man? Look at that. He's Wait. got no. He's free flying. Yeah. But what about here? This one's like different. I do what I want. You, do you see the other? He's, I do see it. I got, yeah. Like, he's one abnormal. Of, sort of have one of these. You're like a half and half. Schlatt's Schlatt, Schlatt's Sorry. just connected. You know. You got a little bit of both. Yeah. My balls actually work the same way. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just one sack, and the yeah, balls kind of just ruminate, yeah, yeah. ruminate. They ruminate. Um, they just think. Sure. Yeah, they just think down there. What do you think they're thinking about? Um, they're thinking about grass. <laughs> this is what they're thinking about. What's your What's your guys' preferred fucking ball orientation? Ball orientation. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> your girlfriend just caught up his left. <laughs> yeah, Shay's Shay's been in the been watching the podcast and she just get up, got up and <laughs> left, left when Charlie that asked that question. Okay. Um, no, please tell me though. What is my um? I'd say, you know, stacked. Or okay. um That's the good. double the double Lance Armstrong is usually what the I go double for. Double Lance Armstrong? <laughs> Armstrong. What is that? Nothing? No, that's just that's just two. Aren't you a quick one? Yes. Nothing. Duh. Oh my god. Lance Armstrong has one testicle. Oh, I know. So the double Lance Armstrong would be two. Two. Not no. Be well or no two testicle? Lance Armstrongs with two one Lance to- Well, considering two the Lance fact Ar- that Lance two. Armstrong had one less You'd imagine that if you double up on Lance Armstrong, you'd get two of what he has. So you think, so nothing. So you think that one times two is zero. Charlie, I'm a ball half empty kind of man. <laughs> Even right <laughs> I'm now. I'm a sack half empty. Even right now. Man. Yeah, man. I, that's what I am. That's what I like. Ted, are you a ball half full? You're doing kind of three guy? scoops of that I'm doing shit. Four. You're doing four scoops. Jesus Christ. You're gonna have like heart palpitations Listen, with man. that much caffeine. This is not caffeine. This is waifu candy. Waifu candy? What is he saying? Well, don't say what brand it is. They don't, they don't sponsor us. Yet. Who knows? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, all right. So what's your guys' goal for this week? I mean, you guys just seem generally pretty angry. I mean, maybe we could take care of that at some point. But I'm, I mean, I'm honestly, after the whole rumination thing, I am chilling. Yeah. Well, you've feeling, been proven. I'm feeling vindicated, <laughs> he, he feels, You know who's feeling not feeling good. vindicated? Me. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, get it all out. I mean. Oh, I got it all out. Really? Yeah, I got all it all of out. it. Oh. Well, there might be a little a good, bit that was left. A stinky one. There might be yeah. a little bit left. Yeah. You do that into the mic. Yeah. Listen to that slop slosh. Yeah. Wow. That's that slucky, slucky slushy. Sc- what does Scooby Dooby Scrunkly mean? Scrunkly? I see, scr- I see people saying Scrunkly on Twitter. What's um, I think it's just a. I think it's just another you know Stan language. Mm. Scrunkly little guy, or something like Is that, that or I don't know, scrunkly. something weird. It's terrorist speak. That's <laughs> <laughs> we've planted, we've got a, actually a scrunkly little bomb planted under the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, I've got a scrunkly little bomb. Remember that time that we talked about bombs you, Rob, for a whole yeah, episode? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> oh, I need to tell you guys this before the episode ends. So I was talking to Tommy in it the other day. And he was saying that it's weird talking to us sometimes because he listens to us in the in the Chuckle Sandwich podcast and mm-hmm. kind of like disassociates us from real people. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then he oh, also oh, said, "Oh, Tommy's parasocial with us." Tommy is a little parasocial with us, and he also said, "I'm sure that checks out." And then he also said that one of his favorite bits in the recent past was our bomb bit. The, where the bomb where kept we kept talk. saying bomb threats and he said i thought that was so funny and i really hope you guys bring back the bomb threats. <laughs> okay. and he was like hey if you can put in a word for me like i want like a few for sure a few bomb threats yeah. to go in next oh wow well, that's actually funny because so boriff so underneath bad. you right now <laughs> is a cl- tightly packed package of c4 mm-hmm. ready to go blow up if you don't agree and you with Schlatt's opinion. And if you try opinion. to run, if you try to run, Borif, I actually have a scrunkly little gun here. So you won't make it very a bad. gun that shoots bombs. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. A bomb gun. So, Borif, as I hold the remote in my pocket, um, who's your favorite member of the Chuckle Sandwich podcast? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I guess I should also hold my copy of the remote, huh? Yeah. Ted, do you have yours? Make the call. Mm. Damn. The sign. That's good, Borif, but not it is good a, enough. It is, a, <laughs> it is a good character on the podcast for sure. Yeah. But it's funny that you say that because I you were gonna that's actually a uh, highly classified but newly released neon bomb that uh, we why brought we into the it, studio. Why did we put it right behind us? Um, why were we exactly thinking about that? Because <laughs> it's a biochemical bomb, and it doesn't. And we've got our DNA on the white list. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the white list? What? And we've got our DNA locked down. <laughs> like, what does that mean? We've got our DNA on the white list, and it won't bother us. But got, everyone else is going to be covered DNA. in... <laughs> everyone's going to be covered in uh, ulcers. Mm. That was really... Uh, that was infuriating when that was the wordle. Yeah. But I'm glad you used it in the sentence. Mm, right yeah. 
I Either stopped way, playing I think after we, they got bought out, by I, the way. Uh, totally yeah. stopped playing once I heard that I, news. Okay, I also I – it felt like a weird thing, too, because I'm not sure if it was because of that or just, like, because I lost interest right around the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? What was this – like, the day it switched, there was the weirdest word, they didn't, swill. They didn't get harder, swill? though. They didn't get harder since people, they changed uh, it. People Pe- keep saying that, but I don't think it's true. Well, it's not true but because it's, it's, it's not true. The only thing that the – I was threes consistently, and I dropped down, like, fucking fours. The only dude. thing that the New York Times it's has numbers. done is that they've, like, removed a couple of words, but the actual – word order for wordle has so. been like it's like set it's been set up for months to be oh, like yeah, hundreds true. and hundreds of days out because it's like they just fucking yeah, take a bunch them. of five letter words and they just throw that in yeah yeah and that's all they need to do and it's just like they don't need to touch it really um so i mean fuck you i guess you dumb no, little no, that's fine you know it's a five letter word bombs <laughs> take that call oh, take that call makes- Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it's JHB. JHB on the Chuckle Sandwich hey, podcast. Hey, hey, JHB, you're show. on Chuckle Sandwich, dude. Hello, how's it going? Good, Good. man. You guys are on TBS with JHB. Oh, wow. yo! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> we got a little bit of a collab going on with THB. Okay. Wow, this is great. Hi, how are hey. you, man? I love him. Wow. Mwah. Mwah, I love you. I want to, I want to kiss you on the face. I love Oh, I see you got you got a little bit of you got a little bit of beer coming out here. You're looking you're looking I'm trying to grow, I'm trying to grow this You're looking night like, you're looking nice. You're keeping that tight. You're looking Oh man. Why does you keep what? going? I, I love you so much, Ted. I miss you. I yeah, I just want to I want to I want to kiss you on the mouth. What the fuck is going on? What is he doing? It's really All right, now now it's on you, Schlatt. Right, Switch well, it. No, it seemed like you guys were having a moment. Yeah, Minx. Yeah, oh, Minx. Thanks, thanks for going on fucking JHB show instead of ours. You could have been here today. No, he didn't ask. No, 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 no. Minx, Minx, Minx. He didn't ask you. You got like, I bet you got like an email or something where it was 100 Thieves reaching out to you. There's no way that, that JHB reached out to you himself because he's afraid. What the fuck is wrong with you? You reached. I don't want to talk to him. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You like my ponytail, bitch? No, it's okay. You look like a little little toy from Simpsons. Oh. Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! Wait, what's their name? What's their name? What's the name? What's the name? It's probably close. It was. It's definitely the baby. Yeah, it is the baby. That's funny. Yeah. Well, go fuck yourself. You look like shit, too. Bye. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for joining us on this episode of the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. Hope you're excited for Chuckle Week 2.0. We Woo! got a lot of good episodes coming up. We got a lot of guests besides Minx because she sucks. Sucks. And we, we, you know, um, but fine. yeah. See you guys next week on Chuckle Sandwich. Bye-bye. Three dead on the 405.